Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic and uh, last week we talked about what did we talk about last week hmm hmm it was we talked last week we talked about the safety meeting and uh, the importance of having a safety meeting uh, with your team on a regular basis uh, normally it's weekly where you have a a safety meeting where you get together and you talk about a specific safety topic or things that have happened on the job site. Well, this week, and I've talked about it several times before, but this week we want to talk about the pre-task plan, uh, what it is and why is it important to have it uh, when you perform tasks on a construction job site. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. Uh, for the, the uh, topic. All right, a pre-task plan, also called a PTP, is a detailed and systematic process of planning and outlining the steps, procedures, and safety measures that need to be followed before initiating a specific task on a construction job. The purpose of a pre-task plan is to identify and mitigate potential hazards, ensure the safety of workers, and prevent accidents or injuries during the execution of a task. Now there are key elements to the pre-task plan and they include the task description, clearly defining the nature of the task to be performed, including its scope, objectives, and expected outcomes. Then we have hazards identification, Identifying potential hazards associated with the task, such as electrical risk, fall hazards, hazardous materials, or equipment related risk. And then the risk assessment. Evaluating the level of risk associated with each identified hazard and determining appropriate control measures to mitigate or eliminate those risks. Next, we're going to talk about safety measures outlining specific safety measures and precautions that need to be taken during the task, including the proper use of personal protective equipment, known as PPE. Next, we want to talk about communication, establishing clear communication protocols among team members involved in the task, including assigning roles and responsibilities, and then emergency procedures, detailing emergency response procedures, including evacuation plans, first aid measures, and communication protocols in case of accidents or unforeseen events. Then we would cover tools, tools and equipment, ensuring that the necessary tools and equipment are in good condition, properly calibrated, and suitable for the task. This may also involve specifying proper storage and handling procedures. And then there's environmental considerations, taking into account any environmental factors that may affect the task, such as weather conditions or the presence of neighboring activities. And these can be elaborate or they can be kind of simple. The importance of a pre-task plan on a construction job lies in its ability to enhance safety, prevent accidents, and to promote a systematic approach to task execution. By thoroughly analyzing and addressing potential hazards before starting a task, construction teams can reduce the likelihood of injuries, protect the well-being of workers, and contribute to an overall safer work environment. Additionally, it helps in compliance with regulatory requirements and promotes a culture of safety within the construction industry. Now, from a superintendent's point of view or from the business owner's point of view, it also makes the job more efficient, more effective. When you, when you do the pre-planning, you recognize what tools there are, what hazards they are. Everybody has an assigned task. Everybody's aware of how their, what role their tasks play in the completion uh, of the task and it creates a, a more harmonious, a more safe and a more productive work environment. Anyway, 
remember that PTP and there's a bunch of forms. I've got blank forms and PTPs. So if you're looking for a form that you need for you, your operation, you'd like to have a PTP uh, form, you know, feel free to contact me and uh, with some information to get back with you and I'll, I'll send it via email. And the ones I have are pretty specific. They have the uh, activity hazard analysis all included on it. And it has a bunch of toggles, you know, a bunch of toggle tick marks that uh, identify things perhaps you should look at and you can check them off. And then you have everybody sign that PTP showing that they're, they're aware of the hazards that were discussed. And, and that, that involves accountability um, that we all need more, uh, more accountability for what we do. Anyway, that's it for today's toolbox safety topic video. I sure appreciate everybody paying attention to these things. They're out there for your benefit. I do it so I can reach a wider audience of guys who are always looking for stuff to help them with their development as they go through their uh, career in construction. But anyway, make sure you give me a, a thumbs up and, and subscribe. No, wrong side. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up over here somewhere. And uh, uh, I appreciate you watching. Have a grateful day and I will see you in the next one.